Hi everybody, welcome back to my kitchen and welcome to my channel. On today's episode, I wanna show you an amazing pasta salad. Spring is here, barbecues are back, we're gonna need some awesome side dishes. This is definitely one of them. Except it's really hard to call this pasta salad a side dish because it's that delicious. Uh, but before I get into the recipe, check the description box below for the full ingredient list and directions. While you're down there, hit that notification bell and subscribe to my channel so you can find out when I drop new awesome recipe tip videos every week. Let's get cooking. In my opinion, a great pasta salad is made with fresh ingredients and some preserved and jarred ingredients. So let's chop up some of our fresh ingredients first. So I'm going to chop up a red onion, a green bell pepper, and here's some celery. I'm also going to shred in a carrot. I'm not chopping the carrot because I want to give different textures to a lot of these vegetables. Now let's get into some of the preserved ingredients. So here's some roasted red bell pepper. And the preserved ingredients, in my opinion, really give pasta salad that authentic flavor. So I'm going to take this roasted red bell pepper, I'm going to cut it down into strips, and then I'm going to cut it just as fine as I cut some of that fresh stuff. And now here's one of my favorite ingredients, these marinated mushrooms. Here's a little tip for working with marinated ingredients. So use a fork to pull them out of the jar so that I'll keep the liquid in the jar, and you'll pull off the ingredients onto a paper towel so it absorbs any extra moisture and doesn't leave a big mess on your cutting board. And now let's slice up some olives. You can always buy these olives pre-sliced, but I just have these on hand. We're going to throw some beans in there to bump up the fiber and the protein. And instead of some fresh tomatoes, we're going to opt for some sun-dried tomatoes, which I think give it a really nice flavor. Pasta salad has its origins in Tuscany, and sun-dried tomatoes are a really Tuscan ingredient. Now let's get some meat in there. So we'll take this salami, and we'll roll it up just like we would some basil leaves and cut these into strips. And we'll also put some cheese in there. And the cheese that we're going to put in is going to be some little mozzarella balls. And remember, pasta salad is whatever you want it to be. So use your imagination and figure out whatever ingredients you want to put in there. And we're also going to chop up some fresh chopped parsley for that green pop of color that we like to put on a lot of dishes. Make sure that when you're making your pasta, you're salting your water because you want to season the pasta. And we're going to use some bow tie pasta, but feel free to use whatever you'd like. So we're going to give this a little mix, and we're just going to make the pasta according to the directions on the package. After that, we're going to drain it and let it cool on the side. So to bind this pasta salad all together, we're going to make a vinaigrette with some olive oil, some red wine vinegar, and some Dijon mustard as an emulsifier to help combine the oil and the vinegar. Now we're going to add a touch of honey for a little bit of sweetness and the juice of one lemon for some acidity and that wonderful lemon flavor. I love lemon. And now here's some of my base seasoning. So this is a blend of garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper. It's just my all-purpose seasoning. There's a link to the video recipe in the description in the recipe. And here's some Italian seasoning. And now we're going to whisk this all together, give it a little taste to make sure that it's where we want it to be. Perfect. So we'll set this aside, and now we'll go back to our pasta and our ingredients. Our pasta's cooled down a little bit, so we're going to mix that with all of those ingredients that we cut up before. We're going to toss the vinaigrette right on top, and now we're just going to mix to combine. This bowl is a little small for the amount of pasta salad in here, but I'll do my best to make sure I don't drop any on the table. And once this is all mixed up, I'm going to put this in the fridge for a couple hours uh, before we put this in a serving bowl. And once it's in a serving bowl, we're going to sprinkle a little fresh chopped parsley on top. And that's just going to signify this dish is done and ready to hit the table. And now look how amazing this pasta salad looks. And make sure you reserve any of the pasta salad that doesn't hit the bowl because you're going to be eating that the next couple of days because this is so good right out of the fridge, nice and cold. This pasta salad looks so good. I can't wait to try this. I mean, this pasta salad is absolutely loaded. You know, there's tons of fresh ingredients in here. Uh, a lot of that marinated stuff that really gives pasta salad a really awesome flavor. You know, so many vegetables. This is like a one bowl, eat, eat it all, nice meal. It's got a little bit of everything in it. So, you know, it's gonna be hard to get a little bit of everything on one fork, but I'll try to do my best. You know, definitely gonna get some of the main players, gotta get some of the sun-dried tomatoes, uh, some, of the, some of the salami. Well, here goes nothing.
This is the best pasta salad I've ever had. It is loaded with flavors. Mm, so many different kinds of textures. This is absolutely delicious. Mm. I mean, this would totally blow any pasta salad you can get at the supermarket totally out of the water. Wow. Mm. Mm. Well, I'm Chef Ange. I'm gonna finish the rest of this pasta salad for lunch. Uh, if you did like this video, give the like button a little love. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you can find out when I drop new recipe and tip videos. And I hope to see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.